We're playing Alessia's dollhouse. You guys voted for this. The description reads, wrong door for a midnight delivery. You are trapped within the walls of a cursed puppet house. Uncover the truth hiding in the darkness and find a way to survive this nightmare. All right, let's do it. Play. Great, now we're going on a dirt road. Oh no. Not the dirt road. Holy Whoa! Shit. Ah, what the fuck was that? Fucking deer. What? It's just a deer. Why are you mad at it? It's just living its life in its home. Nature. Where the hell is this navigation taking me? Who lives here? This guy is Angie. He is Angie as heck. Maybe, maybe we deserve what's coming. Hmm. Why does this house look so familiar? We're not going to bring our phone in? Fuck me if I ever leave an order open at this hour again. I would literally just toss the pizza inside and be like, sayonara. Mrs. Wilson, I have your order. Anybody here? I would set it on the table and I would go, well, I guess I have to collect the money, huh? What is this tiny toilet? Look at this tiny toilet. How cute. And I can't see anything. Mrs. Wilson. Am I in heaven or what? I guess it's my lucky day, baby. Uh, am I just going to steal someone's money from inside of their house? Thanks for the cash. Yeah, we have it coming, this guy. We have it coming. Happened. So am I carrying around the, the suitcase full of cash or? Yeah, let's see. I'm guessing we can't open this anymore. No, no. All right. So. See a plant over here that looks like the witch lady that was in the room. So I'm finally settled in. The mansion is wonderful, just as I imagined it. The children's laughter fills the house and it makes me happy to see how much they love my puppets. The children love the puppets. Puppets used to terrify me as a child. A kid in first grade brought his puppet for show and tell and it was like a creepy puppet. And it freaked me out. You know, we were supposed to take the five dollars and not the whole thing of cash, and that's why we're being punished. This is punishment. Is this a door over here? I can't tell. It's very dark. I... Oh. I heard something. A bathroom. Nice. We have some uh, familiar assets in here. Assets. Great, great assets. Uh, where am I? Mm hmm. When do I get a flashlight? Because I really, I really can't see. Can't see where I'm going. Another tape? Things are not going well. Workers keep getting hurt. Excavations have ground to a halt. I have to find a solution. 
Is that a... What? Oh. So I came through there. And I walked to over there. The door was open. Source. Vladimir Petrov. Um, feature sudden attack. After selecting its prey, this puppet suddenly appears and relentlessly chases and kills. Its appear appearance and movements are extremely frightening and threatening. Crime. Serial killer. Vladimir Petrov was a serial killer known as the Butcher of the Night, who stalked his victims through the streets and brutally murdered them. He's 1.8 meters tall. I don't know how tall that is. Hair color, sh black, short, and messy. Deep scar on the left cheek. Material, wood, leather, and balls. Taken balls. Taken from Vladimir Petrov? Like, they took the balls from him? Appearance, a wooden face with an eerie and menacing features of Vladimir Petrov. Piercing brown glass eyes, the hair is long and kempt wig made of Petrov's black hair. Vladimir Petrov's mask is integrated directly into the puppet. His clothing is in the form of a black suit Petrov often wears. Danger. Very high. Deadly. In case you encounter this puppet, all you have to do is run away without looking back. Pray to survive. Notes. The puppet's spawning mechanism and criteria for selecting its prey are unknown. The puppet's method of killing is quite brutal, and it is believed that it enjoys inflicting pain on its victims. This puppet is an uncontrollable threat and should be avoided as much as possible. Okay. Um... I really can't see you. Back in here. The sound coming from. Watch me. Okay. Where? Is there a TV somewhere? So I'm guessing we're going to be chased by a puppet boy. Oh. Well, that's... That... These are puppets. For sure. Oh, what's this? Source. Amelia Blackwood. Features stone cut gaze. When this puppet is seen, do not move until it is gone. Taking any step may result in the puppet breaking its the victim's neck. Mass murder. Amelia Blackwood Wood is a cult leader, convinced her followers to commit mass suicide. Hundreds of people lost their lives. Blah, blah, blah. Appearance of wood face reflecting the hypnotizing and eerie beauty of Amelia Blackwood. Piercing red glass eyes, hair, a long and wavy wig made of Blackwood's dark brown hair, clothing in the form of the gothic robes of Blackwood. Blackwood often wears. So don't, don't move. Okay. Is that her? I can't tell. Oh, she's gone. Awesome, awesome. She's gone. Oh, is this a flashlight? Oh my gosh, please. Thank goodness I can use a flashlight now. Oh, can't go back there. What else is in the workshop? Anything? There's like a trailer in here. What in the world is that thing? Hey, Boingo. What's this? Okay, so this is the other door to this room. What exactly am I, like, trying to do? Who is that? Is that the, um, 
Is that the murderer puppet? Who are you? Oh, freak. Rip? Alright, let's read this. Sure it's about this puppet? Elizabeth Bathory. Strangely, this puppet can only move as long as there's no direct observation of it. As soon as a person looks at the puppet, it freezes, but as soon as the gaze is removed, it moves silently and quickly approaching its victim. In this way, it can reach its target unnoticed and carry out the act of killing. Serial killer Elizabeth Bathory is considered one of the most notorious fe female serial killers in history. She is said to have kidnapped and tortured young girls to death and bathed in their blood. Um, let's see. Human bone taken from Elizabeth Bathory. A wooden face reflecting the cold and cruel beauty of Elizabeth Bathory. Blue glass eyes, hair, a short and wavy wig made of Bathory's black hair. Her dress is too childish to be reminiscent of the people Bathory slaughtered. Fantastic. So where did she go? Because now I have to, like, look at her for her to not move. She's like a weeping angel. I don't like weeping angels. I've decided to set up a medical center on the estate. The wounded can be treated immediately so we can continue the excavation. This is wild and whatever is going on in this house. Got a freaking voodoo doll here. So, so far we have three puppets that we're going to have to deal with. One that just chases you. One that when you see you have to stop and wait. And then the other you have to look at to stop from moving. Seems like a mess. Seems like an effing mess. Wait, anything here? No? Bro, I would just chuck myself out of the window. Any window. Wood there? No problem. Chuck yourself. Okay, nothing in here. I have to explore those, uh, wow. That's ridiculous. I have to explore those, the hallway again. Where it was really, really dark. Hmm. I'm out of water. I need to get more. I drink, drink the last water. Oh, I don't think I saw this door down here. Hello? Oh. D weren't you facing the other way a minute ago? Okay, can't look in there. I keep hearing like a coin dropping. I can't open that. Oh, we can play the videotape here. Let's see. Mm-hmm. We're playing Alessia's dollhouse. Can't open that either. Alright, so. So. Is that oh oh <laughs> nope. Elizabeth, don't you dare. Don't look away. Nina is here. It's Nina. Um Okay. Have we gone in here? Hmm. Uh, hello? What was that noise? Oh, there she is. Is she just gonna... Did she move? Oh, she moved. Can you not? What happens if she kills me? Bro! Don't you shut the door on my face, child. Okay, so now I just have to, like, deal with her? Where am I supposed to go? Oh, wow. Okay, she, uh, she disappeared that time. So do I just have to, like, look over my shoulder constantly? In case she's, like, there. 
Let's go in here. Oh shit me, where is she? Where is she? Or maybe it's not her, maybe it's the other one? Body slam it? Oh wow, no, is that him? Don't look away, Nina's here. Look how creepy, that's the one that chases you, isn't it? Can't I just smash it? Oh! Bro, what? So into, into spider, went up to spout again. <laughs> the excavations have begun. I can't wait to find the temple. With that book, my work can be perfect. Ah! I have no idea where she was. I was looking around. I have no idea where she was. I was looking around. Is this where it leaves me? Can't go through there. I can't open that. <laughs> All right. So we need to go back into that hallway here. And she's somewhere, but I don't know where. Here's this guy. I think he gets up and starts chasing us at a certain point. Oh god. Where is she? Is she around the corner here? Where'd she come from? The little the little doll oh, my god, she almost got me again. Bro. Chill. When does she go away? I'm kind of like trapped here. Okay, thank you. Okay, so this is the other side of this room. Did that door open? I can't open this door. So what's the... What's the point? Can't... What's the... I'm gonna hold my thoughts for a minute on the game. I think I hear her like opening doors and shutting doors or something. Like what what exactly is my goal here? To just like outlive the puppets? <laughs> okay, where is she? Stand in a corner. Oh, there she is. I mean, we're trying to get out, but like... They- their doors are all locked. I think they're wooden puppets, they're not plastic. They ve they're very specific about the um, components of these puppets. What they're made from and all that. Wooden leather. We just have to like walk up to her? It's. I'm a little bit disappointed. It takes so long for her to disappear once you're like staring at her. I feel a little like. See if we can open this door now. Nope. So what am I looking for? Are you? Is she? Where is she? Oh, yeah, she was. Like, wouldn't you just drop kick her in the head? And just like... Like, smash? <laughs> Whoa! What? The lights should not stay off? Yeah, I'm not, I don't like it. <laughs> I just, I can't, I, I can't do this one. I don't know. We tried. It, these games like aren't really my cup of tea. 
I don't know. 